Your son has been Yo, what up? corrupted by sin. Your son ever get corrupted by sin? Every day, dude. Every day. I haven't played an Eden episode in a while. Pandora's box? What does that do on the very first floor again? Two spirit hearts? Or we could wait all the way to... Well, actually, we skip caves too, huh? We're womb one. Let's just use it now. I feel like that's fair. Okay, uh, one of them have got to die before I can take on the ticks. Having both of those guys go, that'd be that'd be too much. This is the life, bo 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 man. I'm doing good. It's like it's the weekend in the middle of the night. <laughs> When you're when you're used to the graveyard shift, it's it's so not worth trying to get back onto a day shift schedule or like a day schedule. You just kind of you just kind of go to bed early and you wake up early and maybe you take a nap or something. I don't know. Probably go to bed in a, in like a few hours. I won't sleep the entire day away. Because I, I do like to do things with my with my wife on the weekend. That's something that I enjoy doing. So I'll be sure not to be uh, unavailable. What do you think about Mr. Me? I think I I think I know what I think about Mr. Me. I'll take Mr. Me. We'll, we'll we'll run with this guy. I bet you the item was back here, and I also bet you that that's the secret room. <laughs> I don't think I've ever simultaneously had Mr. Me explode guys. Oh, I Ooh, okay. That made two errors there. I somehow managed to step on the button, which was an accident, and then I did a really good dodge. So, you know. All things considered, bad. What about the item rooms back this way? I bet that way's the boss room. Mysterious Liquid, pretty good item. And Mr. Me, pretty good item. The only bad thing about... At my place of work... There's there's some advantages about Graveyard Shift, right? The bonus, right? No one, no one can say the bonus is bad. You could say the bonus ain't worth it. That'd be a perfectly reasonable thing to say. Completely destroying your sleep schedule. Especially if you, like, have children, as many of my co-workers do. Oh, maybe 2.0? Good. Great item that will do nothing, pretty much. Uh, especially when you have children, graveyard really stinks. Because you kind of have to, like, you know... You know, you might be the one to take your kids to school, or take them to, you know soccer practice or whatever else have you instead of uh, getting to sleep all day and waiting till your spouse gets home all that jazz instead you gotta you know take care of kids and do other things Bruh. I think we could Bruh. make uh, I don't think there was too many plays actually let's let's do the boss first but yeah it's, the pay, at least, the, the bonus grave pay, is it's a compensation, at least. If not, you know, probably not worth it to most people. Uh, it doesn't hurt that I don't have to do maintenance ever. They do the, uh, they've now put maintenance exclusively on day shift. Mostly because that's, uh, what I would call the A-team. Those guys, they're... They're there during the day, not um, not at night. I would say we don't even have for the graveyard shift. We 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 don't even have like we don't even have like the B team. We have like the the C minus team on grave for maintenance. Like we're really desperate when we have to call. Ooh, the compass. That's nice. I'll take that for six cents. Heck yeah. Uh. We're real desperate when we have to call maintenance. Actually, that even came up. That even that even came up 
this last week, because, like, there we were. We were having coding problems all week, and we couldn't, like, figure it out. And basically what it was... Do you, how are you alive? Are you kidding? What a jerk. We were having uh, coding problems all week. Okay, why he wasn't alive is because my damage isn't as good as I think it is. It, it's pretty weak. Okay, pay more attention to what you're doing. Do 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 do. Get him, Robo Baby 2.0. See, not a useless item. Open the door. Give me the belt. I ain't fighting two bosses for the belt. Forget that. That ain't worth it in my book. If that had been an HP or tears or damage, yeah, I would have done that. But for... For, uh... Just for friggin... Nothing? I don't think so. Or a speed upgrade? Unless if I pick up small rock, then I will regret it. I'll take a iron bar. But yeah, basically the pump... We, we did everything when it came to the coating. It was starving out. And the maintenance guy was saying all this really unhelpful crap. And I was like... He's like, oh, you think it's the coda roller? It's like, no, dude. Do you see the way that it's starving out? If it was the coda roller doing that, it'd be much more consistent on the work. It's like... It's like random sheets. It's random sheets starving out exclusively on one side. Ain't no way it's the coda roller. But basically, he wanted to do everything but replace the pump. Any sort of time, we were like, I think it's the pump, I think it's the pump. He was like, nah, it, it ain't the pump. Well, guess what? Day crew went ahead, they replaced the pump. What do you guys think? Is Cambian Conception worth it? I think Dark Bum might be worth it. In the long run, I mean. Um, I don't know about King being Conception. Hmm. I think we're going to skip King being Conception. And I think we're also going to be out of here. Also, is the other thing that we're going to do. Goodbye. Anyway, the day shift guys changed the pump. And guess what? That was that was the problem. Oh, okay, if I knew, if we knew, the pressman and I, if we knew that Bruh. that was the problem. Oh, nice launch, dude. Bruh. Dude. Come on, man. Rude? Exceptionally rude? That's a mirror room. Why didn't we just fix the pump? Brother, I know how to operate parts of a printing press. I don't know how to fix or replace. Bruh. Dude. A supply pump! Dude, I'm getting walloped here. And I can never see my HP. That's something that's illegal? Dude, more of these guys, huh? Game said, oh, you're having a hard time with these guys? Enjoy having more of them. I'll take that. Hmm, what do you guys think? Let's go fight some bosses. Wait, no, let's go fight this boss first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. Well, fortunately, creep really will mess this guy up. Okay, don't hurt me, please. I don't want to be hurt. Yeah, that was all skill that I dodged those attacks. Definitely not stupid idiot luck. Okay, well. I'm expecting to see the old, uh... Dude. That sucked. Okay. Um, yeah. One key. Sure. Ace of spades. Hanged man. The stars. Oh, let's take the stars. And get that item. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Basically, that guy just wants to sit on his butt in his office and, like, not actually do anything. 
Because pretty much every suggestion we were coming with, he did his best to, like, shoot down. In terms of fixing the problem. Thanks for the spider. I'll take the range upgrade. Montezuma's Revenge? I guess we'll take it. It's something. Poop Brimstone? I'll take Poop Brimstone for the time being. Poop Stone, as one might call it. My favorite uh, card game by Blizzard Entertainment! Alright, dude. No way I'm doing the reverse side. I'm getting my absolute high knee beat out here. All these rooms are scary and dangerous. I'm getting my I'm getting my butt whooped. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Probably should like pay more attention as well. That might be a contributing factor. What do you think the secret room is, huh? I bet it's here. Go get it. It wasn't there, by the way, in case if anyone was curious. Do, 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 do. Anyway, advantages of graveyard shift. I don't have to do maintenance. That's nice. Uh, unless if it's like required maintenance that we have to do keep the press going. Not a bunch of manager people breathing down your neck all the time. That's always nice. But when there are problems, it does kind of suck. Because at least on day shift, they can be like, oh, we get it. We, we understand. Because the guys can actually, like, be there. Oh, I should have brought Ace of Spades. Okay, take Ace of Spades. And we'll go into the reverse side. In the very first room, there's enemies. We'll... We'll hit him up. Let's check out what this card is first. If it's, I would love to see a hero font. Death, who cares? First room with enemies, and then we just, we dip right back inside. You two are keys, congratulations. And that is enough to go into the shop as well. Let's go into the shop. Was Turtlet that bad? All these rooms are pretty bad. All oh, these rooms are pretty scary, if I remember right. Hmm. Yeah. Three gold poops, though. That's interesting. I think with Montezuma's Revenge, I think we can we can do a good number on this guy, though. Um, let's not lose the streak here, huh? Okay, cool. I'll take an HP up. Thank you for not throwing a spider on top of my head. I got too close to the Montezuma's Revenge. Although, I feel like that was... It actually worked out for the best. All things considered. Uh, I think... What would I rather go to? The secret room or the super secret room? I think I'd rather do a whole super secret room situation. Can you hit me up, fam? Thanks. That's exactly why. I was literally thinking I would love the the room with the hearts for Dark Bum. Empress. The world. Okay. Well, yeah, I'd take two hearts. Well, Empress I'd take. Or world card. Hmm. Oh, we might as well use this world card, I suppose. Just to confirm the fact that yes, indeed... That is the secret room. Uh, take that. Charged key. We'll use the charge key to open up the Mr. Dolly. Boing. Another black heart? That's a pill. Uh, do I want to spend a key? Oh, I forgot. I should have used the two of spades first. Well, come on. There's a lot of things on the go here. Two of spades. The sun, okay. I can either bring the sun. I can either bring the sun. Right, we have a shop to go to. Sun or soul of Jacob and Esau. Both are good. 
I do like using Soul of Jacob and Esau to be like, I'm gonna open up the door. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. And I think I'll take Spider Ma, too. <laughs> yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape. Already. We're, we're, we're in good shape. Um, let's take Soul of Jacob and Esau. What was I talking about? Complaining about work? In a general sense, I suppose? In a general sense, I suppose I was complaining about work. But, like, nothing too specific. It's nice not having managers breathe down your neck, but at the same time, when something does go wrong, and you really got no choice but to sit there and wait till, for day crew, on those those fun nights when that happens. It's like, well, there ain't nothing I could have done, man. We did we did our best. We tried everything, but then you still have to explain. Oh, okay, so why didn't you guys make that much product, or why did you only get a couple jobs done? What's up with that? It's like, well, here's what happened. And it, it always feels much weaker trying to explain that sort of stuff. But when you got someone to sign off on it. Right there, like on day shift, you feel a lot better about it. It's like, yeah, we had to recoat. The only reason why we only got one job done, we had to recoat the whole dang job because it kept starving out, and the maintenance guy didn't want to change the pump. Bumbo. Forget Bumbo. Why didn't the maintenance guy want to change the pump? If that would have solved your problem. Good question. You probably will have to ask the maintenance guy. That isn't a question that I can answer for you. Why did he keep making suggestions that were absolutely ludicrous for anyone that knows anything about printing? Good question as well. Why does he keep trying to get me to walk? I mean, he's a fine enough guy, but like... I really wish she would stop showing up and trying to talk to me and be like, Oh, hey, you're another youngish guy. You want to talk about Game of Thrones? No. Oh, do you want to... Oh, hey, the new uh, Fallout game's coming out. Are you excited about that? Uh, I play, like, the same two video games over and over again, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, oh, well. Good. Who cares? I have no particular interest in the new Fallout game, my brother. I play like the same two video games over and over again. I have a whole catalog of video games that I haven't played. I'm not gonna go out and buy the new Fallout game on your recommendation, okay? I'm sure it's good if you go for that sort of thing, but... Hey, we got it. This is why I play the same video game over and over again? Oh, cool. It's for the express purpose of being Bruh. able to uh, be good at the same video game over and over again. Too bad about the sun card. That would have been six more plays. I'll take this though. That seems acceptable. It's pin. It's pin. Oh, nice positioning of Matsuzuma's revenge. It's okay. He's dead now. Everyone can be relaxed. Oh, don't get hit. But yeah, I was shocked. Compared to the first time I went on Graveyard Shift, how quickly, comparatively, it took for me to adjust. Because it took me right out. The first time it happened. Uh, I think I'll. I was thinking about sacrificing Soul of Jacob and Esau to play that more. I think I'll use him on the door. I think I'll use Soul of Jacob and Esau on the door. I will have to beat Dark Bum next to, to my next Red Hearts, though. Uh, there's no particular reason that I need to buy these things, but, you know. You never know when Greed's gonna show up. 
you do sort of have to always be on the offensive. Picking up some items that are perhaps not of incredible quality at the time might make it better in the future. Hello, friend. Ooh, get owned by Mysterious Liquid. I will take that, that's for sure. It's Krampus. Hello, Mr. Krampus. Well, I can also use Mr. I should have used it on uh, the thing, I guess, because guess what? Krampus's head. Oh, you might as well, I guess. I'd spend a bomb to get a Joker card. Well, I definitely would rather have Soul of... Uh, I guess I should have sacrificed the dude. Sorry. Oh, I can still... Hang on. Drop? I can still sacrifice him. Thanks, game. All right, time to sacrifice a child to the blood donation machine, because I'd rather have the joke card for sure. Soul of Jacob and Esau. And I also forget that it Brad. gives you stuff. Brad. 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 But and I also need my uh. <laughs> uh he had Judas's shadow, man. I could have got four more plays. Oh well. I also forgot to pick up my trinket when I did that. And I have no use for the Hierophant. We're we're good to go, man. Scoring a path my apraxia through. I will have my way. I told you, I told you, I told you. Apparently that, that Esau had a Judas's shadow. I could have played that blood donation machine four more times. Oh well. All right, no Curse of the Labyrinth. No Curse of the Labyrinth. A dice room. Interesting. They are interesting. I don't think I've ever actually... Dude, two times? You're going to run into it twice? Going to be a super genius twice? Two times? Okay. Entire floor pickups, huh? Well, we'll see about that. I guess only pills, cards, and trinkets of undesirable quality. Because I'll pick up all the bombs. I'll pick up all the... Maybe I'll skip a couple keys? Nah, I won't skip a couple keys. And all the red hearts will be consumed by, if not me, Dark Bum. So yeah, only that'll only be good for pills, cards, and runes I decide not to use, and trinkets... So be it. Okay, at least uh, my damage is picking up, so that's pretty cool. Or, I feel sorry. One of my, one of the pressmen on the other shift, we have an infamously hard job. It's UV varnish. Really small form paper. I don't understand why they, they on our big press They never run this job on the smaller form press I, I suppose I don't know why but they always send it to the bigger form press and it's on small sheet They really should uh, up the size Instead of running it. Um, I think it's it's one or two up meaning there's one or two boxes per sheet that we print They should just run it on a bigger sheet I think their excuse is they don't want the die cutters to make a new die. It's like, who cares, dude? Like, actually, who cares? Just make them make a new die. Do you not understand how difficult this job is to run? It's like the smallest possible paper that this press can run. It's a total nightmare. Not to mention it's UV varnish, which is also very tricky. Anyway, famously difficult job on our press. I'll take it. I don't really care about homing bombs, but I'll take it. Okay. You gotta you gotta wait a moment to see if it's the if all three are open or just the middle one on that room. I'll take that dark bomb. 
I'll take it. Champion this guy? Oh, Viz. Hmm. First this way? Forget me now. Don't get taken. Okay, it's... Ouchie, ouchie. Okay, here's the deal. I will take seven seals. And if you get forget me now, I will take it. Alright. You gotta hang on, Mr. Me. You gotta hang on. Alright. Let's get Mr. Me charged up. Alright, that, that was the deal there. If Forget Me Now had paid out, then we would have kept it. Or, you know what I meant. We would have done the floor over again. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of charges. Okay, I'll use Mr. Me to open the door. Forget experimental treatment. I'm not taking it. Thanks, Mr. Me. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, let's reroll the little stuff that there is on the floor, and then be on our way. Oh, it's Curse of the Maze? Didn't even notice. Man, I'm glad Curse of the Maze is just a mild inconvenience these days. When it was really bad back in After Plus, it did kind of suck. But it really is almost completely negligible. It's kind of like a nothing curse. Like, who cares if you get Curse of the Maze? It, it could be a, a real pain in the neck back in the day. The Empress didn't re-roll. Oh. Interesting. Unless if you're telling me it re-rolled into another Empress card. Which I don't believe you, if that's the case. Ooh, Curse of the Can't See What You're Getting. That's pretty cool. It's a favorite curse of mine. I've often said Curse of the Blind is my favorite curse in the game. I almost prefer having Curse of the Blind instead of not having Curse of the Blind. Obviously. I've, I've always said this. I'd rather have all blind items than not, basically is what I'm saying. And I'm pretty sure every Isaac player feels that way. They hate picking up what they're what they're seeing everyone would much rather do it blind there's an item in here I'll take it squeezy yeah for sure bow show into you into you bow show bow show love you I don't remember the rest of them into you into you I'll right, see what's in the vault mr. me get them uh, and honestly, I guess I'll save the... If I don't get the deal with the devil, I will not spend the joker card this floor. Because what's the point? It's going to be blind? Wowzer. I just... I could have waited 0.5 seconds. And almost also, there was a shopkeeper I saw in that vault I could have blown up to increase the chance, but again, I'd kind of almost rather just miss and save the 33% chance for the next floor, yeah? I feel like that makes sense. And I also hope it's greed in the shop. I have no way... I haven't gotten greed yet. But I totally wouldn't mind if it's greed right now. Mm. Ace of Spades. Give me that Ace of Spades. We'll quick turn everyone into this room into a key. Congratulations, you're a key. What did I turn by the door into a key? Did that turn my flies into keys? Why did I get two keys by the door? Interesting. Yeah, I'll buy one random item. Loplia. Uh, I might take the Ploplia into the Devil Room. 
I might use the Joker card after all, actually. I might use the Joker card after all, so I can hang on to Mr. Me. And then Diplopalea, pick up all the free items that there are to pick up. And then if any of them are worth grabbing twice, grab them twice. Such as, for example, a Guppy item. And get Guppy. Dude, it's been... I haven't gotten Guppy in ages, man. Uh, that's bad. Yeah. I realized my mistake immediately. I had super speed, or super slowdown, not super speed, and I still got hit by those fire I had all the time in the world to parse out those fireplaces, and I still got hit. Mm. Yeah, what's Joker? Joker? Two items, huh? I'll deploy play of them. Empty vessel. Hmm. And guppy item? Well, neither of those are worth buying. Might as well go to the crawl space. Come on, where's the floor element? Here you go. Might as well go to the crawl space. Uh, what good is Mr. Me anymore? It could take me to Mega Satan. Larynx. Okay. Active item central. Um. I mean, they both have diminishing value immediately. I can get how many crawl spaces? One, two, three, maybe four in the chest, depending. I think it's dark room that it's hard to. I think there are floor elements in the chest, so four crawl spaces or Mr. Me. I think I'll take Mr. Me. I think I'll take Mr. Me. Yeah, we need to go deeper. But yeah, doing doing surprisingly well on the old graveyard shift. The lack of support from maintenance is a little sad, but it does give you an excuse to do nothing when you genuinely are down, which isn't bad either. I think everyone would rather, most people would rather like work then do nothing because I don't know I think most people find the work at least semi interesting and standing around doing nothing is very boring especially when you're like dude can I just I'd rather be home you're not thinking I'd rather be standing around doing nothing than something you're thinking I want to go home when I have nothing to do here at work But, you know, having a, a semi-incompetent maintenance crew at night, you know, doesn't make me happy particularly, but it's got its ups, it's got its downs. Uh, I'll take Cancer, sure. It does make going Mega Satan even more tempting. I don't have a particularly strong run or any particular reason to go to Mega Satan, though. Nothing there is worth anything. Hello. Throw your rocks. See what... Flash that light all you want. It can't help you now. A frowning gaper has appeared. Oh, no. That'll probably make the difference here. Open up that door, please. Thanks, friend. Midnight snack? Nah. We got plenty of red HP. In fact, I'd rather get rid of Bruh. my red HP. Bruh. Hello, speaking of which. Bruh. 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 If you pay out, he didn't pay out on six. Bruh. Oh, right. Pick up this. Bruh. 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 Oh, sh shoot. <laughs> Nuh uh. Well, nuh uh might be of more use to me than uh, the money item, I suppose. I hadn't thought about that. Bruh. 
Empty heart. Honestly, nah. Honestly, I'd almost rather you didn't. Okay, gotta watch out for these exploding TNT barrels. I feel like I should explode them preemptively. Because I'm gonna blow them up with Montezuma's revenge when they're right next to me. Wow. Unfortunately, I got half a red heart left. Always unfortunate. Tarot cloth. I suppose, why not? Marathon. Ooh, three soul hearts. Blow up this guy. Almost forgot to blow up this guy. Uh, I can solve my dilemma of having half a red heart. And gaining Bruh. flights. Thanks, pumpkin. What's in here? A confessional? All right, what do we do? I think uh, forget the forget the half soul heart. Go Montezuma's revenge, nearly just soloing the foot. I almost got hit by her in slow motion. That'd have been embarrassing. Uh, take you. Go into here. Too bad about that paw, huh? Uh, it... <clears throat> Don't know what hit me. Hey, can you get the paw for me, please? I would like it if you got that paw for me. Okay, here's the score. Munch it? Do I munch both? That's the real question. I only have one more floor to go. Ah, let's munch both of them. Take that, and let's get. I guess I should have taken that midnight snack after all. Oh, I don't know, man. Oh, thank you, Curse of the Loss. Very much appreciated with just about full mapping. Always, always there to help me out. But yeah, I would think I'd rather be on uh, complete soul hearts. If something is truly good... Coming out of the devil deal on this floor, it'll probably like Guppy. I'd certainly spend three soul hearts on Guppy. A great damage up, a cool effect. Yeah, weak sauce item that I might have been on the fence about spending uh, a red heart on. Eh. What about that Diplopolia? I could have had if I got picked up two copies of Guppy's paw. I think that'd have been Guppy. Yeah. Or is that only pa I'm never- I don't ever remember how that works. Do two copies of the same passive item count separately toward Guppy. You pick up, like, two copies of Guppy's Collar. I don't remember if this whole- I, I don't see why it wouldn't. But it could be that it doesn't count. Okay, listen, buds. I need you to open up about your feelings. Thanks. I know that was hard. The fool. Eh, you might as well grab him, Dark Bum. One, two, three. Start spitting them out here, please. Okay, a bunch of pills, bunch of pills, a spider. Thanks. Run! Oh, okay, just the one guy. Doink, doink. Uh, I won't pick that up. Nice try, eyeball man. You'll have to wake up earlier in the morning than that to get me. Mm, yeah, I'll dodge through that. Oh, I'm invincible. Cool. Alright, one guppy item, please. All right, here's the, here's the deal. Get contract from below. Thanks. Much appreciated. And eh, forget Demon Baby. I don't want that crap. 
Uh, it's not crap, but I don't want it. Its most significant contribution might be toward conjoined. And I don't remember... I'd be a sure pickup if I remembered off the top of my head if conjoined affected Montezuma's revenge. That'd be pretty cool if it did. I don't... Oh, if I if you quizzed me, like, does conjoined affect Montezuma's revenge? I would say no. Off. Ah, oh, you didn't put that fire out, you ingle dong. Offhand, I'd say I don't think it does, but it might. That'd be kind of cool if it did. Triple poop shot. Triple shoot. Triple. Triple brim. There you go. Triple poop brim. That's what I was trying to say. Managed to squeeze it out eventually. Dude, I'm gonna have to start, maybe... I switched by this point, whenever this finally goes up in, like, a month. I finally switched to a six-day weeks. I'm, like, I'm almost a month ahead on videos, dude. And I was back... So I started to do six episodes a day. I might go to episode every day. Six episodes a day. Six episodes a week. When I started, I was like, ah, five a week is fine. I think, I think I'm gonna go to the old once daily strategy, because since I don't edit my videos, it does not take much effort to contribute. I thought I was gonna be a shell of my former self, and maybe I still will be, but usually the first couple re weeks are definitely the roughest when you switch your sleep schedule, and I'm already chilling, dude. I'm honestly flat shocked how well I am doing. But I guess last time we were what was called mill schedule, which was a uh, 12 hour shifts alternating threes and fours. We were alternating three and four day, 12 hour days covering the press 24 seven. We're doing five eights now. Three, cr ooh, mercromycosis. Love Mercurmycosis. Uh, forget the D20. I don't care. Alright, open that door, and we might come back if I feel like it. If I feel like it. Or if we don't have the HP, we might skip it too. You never know. What, what, I definitely will go fight Blue Baby, though. I haven't seen... I haven't seen this, uh... I haven't seen this asphyxiated boy in a while. One asphyxiated uh, six-year-old coming up. Dude, this game is literally hydrogen bomb versus coughing baby. <laughs> Except on the circumstances, you might be the coughing baby or you could be the hydrogen bomb. That's, I've never thought about that. Hydrogen bomb. Farsas. Coughing baby! My favorite epic rap battle of history. What was I talking about? I was talking about work. Oh! You know what I never circled back around to? For the other pressmen that we relieve. Because, because of our schedule, we see one guy as we're going, and then another guy as we're leaving, instead of never seeing a crew ever again since we're not on 12s, 3 and 4 12s anymore. And the really tough job, that's right, I was talking about that really tough job, the UV varnish job. Uh, it was coming up on the schedule, right? And it was timed so that... We definitely weren't going to be seeing it, our crew. But if we lollygagged and we didn't get through all that much work, uh, one guy might get it versus the other. And the pressman we relieved was like, please, please, please. The swing pressman. Can you please do your best to get through as much of the schedule tonight? So, you know, it relives with day crew and not me. I, this stupid job has seemed to land it on my my shift like the last like bunch of times and it's like okay i mean we'll do our best for the sake of doing our best and we hope to be you know 
And and we did a, we did a good job. We we crunched through a bunch of jobs that night. And then day shift arrives. And the usual pe person, the pressman, he's out. Okay, that's not too bad. There's a second pressman. Or sorry, the manager, our current our new printing manager was one of our man uh, one of, was a pressman. He could totally run that job. That's totally fine. He is out too. The pressman and the manager are gone. The only person that's left is the second pressman and an, a more inexperienced feeder who is definitely going to have a hard time running that paper. And uh, the graveyard pressman and I, we kind of look at each other and we go, uh, good luck swing shift pressman. There's no way these idiots are going to get the job done in time. We did our best. There was only one and a half jobs before the UV varnish job. So I bet they finished out those two jobs, did a full wash up, got it ready for the swing shift pressman. And uh, he's probably cursing all of our names because he really has managed to wind up with that really hard job like the last several times we've run it. It, it has just happened to fall on his shift. And he almost got out of it this time around. So I guess we'll be apologizing him to him next week. Hey man, we we tried. <laughs> Nothing we could have done except stay, I don't know, six more hours. But mm, we all know that wasn't happening. Not on the weekend, are you kidding? Forget that. I wanted to go home and go to bed. Another news, we're never going to find this darn boss room, huh? I should have just gone into the... Should have just jumped into the fight right away. I've gained no items, gained no... I think I've gained... A, no, I wasted the, the Hierophant. I have a net loss of HP, I'm pretty sure. Uh, definitely. Who's alive? Little guys? Come here. Do you have anything to say, Dark Bum? Nope. Hello, Greed. You're not Greed, you're Gluttony. Although what's Greed and what's Gluttony is all a matter of perspective. How much you gorge yourself on what it is that you're gorging yourself. People think food. Gluttony doesn't necessarily apply to food. It's just the classic overindulging. Nah. Lust and pride and Gluttony. And the rat and sloth and greed. Humans are just weaknesses, that's what you believe. But I'll come to realize that's simply jealousy. I might go to Mega Satan because I can't find the darn boss room. <laughs> so, are you kidding? So much for the idea of full mapping, huh? Oh my gosh. No map, no map indeed, Mega Mind. Ah, hello. <laughs> I didn't see it. Hey, pay out with another black art, please. Oh, nothing. Where's the boss? Where's the giant, manly? The bomb is scheduled to go off at the giant's location. Where? How, what hit me? Oh, it must have been exploding war. Must have been an exploding locust of war. Uh, Mega Satan would have been easier than this, man. Are you kidding? We're still stumbling around trying to find this boss room. Dude, next time... I'm just entering the Mega Satan fight straight away. I should have realized I was going to hate Curse of the Lost a lot. I would have been done by now if I had just stepped into the friggin' Mega Satan fight, man. I'd have been, it would have been over by now. Ah, <laughs> Get me out of here. This has got to be a full clear. Please. Oh, it's the boss room. 
Hey, big guy, don't get anywhere near me. One, two, oatmeal. Kirby is a pink guy. Oh, cool, more judgment cards. Judgment. Yeah, whatever, I'm not, I'm not playing with these guys. Get them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, put down some bombs, too. I got homing bombs. Wow, okay, I could walk all the way back and fight Mega Satan, or I could call it a day. Dude, he hasn't... He paid out with, like, two black cards that whole run. He paid with, out with more than that. He was technically worth it, but it was really getting insulting there at the end. Dark bum. Well, thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Ooh, watch this cool little trick. Wow, 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 Okay. <laughs> I might have not even taken into effect. I was, uh, I was messing with the screen region. Oh, I wonder if this works. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, stop being stupid. All right, see you later. It didn't hit the